Hello everyone, welcome back to another trading session. I go with bars for two trades right here because we, oh, it's not closing on the round number, but uh, there should be some setup inside of this engulf. That's why I'm taking this trade. And also, let me just mark this. Also, we are inside of the space, okay? So in, inside of the space, the price has been moving like this. And now, after touching, okay, if it comes down, I will add two more. We have four trades going on right here and the preference is just going up okay this is an engulf we have the retracement closing exactly on the retracement point and now we are expecting a upward movement okay there we go this is the qm at the very low time frame see that this is the qm area touch the qm area somewhere here and now it's just going up and also this is an engulf we got the retracement we have the the engulf closing exactly on the retracement point you know every single engulf if this is your engulf it has a retracement point this is the retracement point if we're crossing this it's a little risky but if we're closing exactly on here it's high probability to win the next trade in the direction of that engulf okay so the movement are some like this and the price is exactly right here previous resistance right here and they can support the price again okay let me see oh look at this qm oh it's exactly coming from this overlapping as a supply like overlapping level as a supply oh it's not quite touching that but yeah the, this overlap is a very good supply for us Let's see, if we're closing above that, I might take a sell, but okay, let me just go with 50 for a lower option here. We also have the gap up in our favor, but I took this trade mainly because we have this lower low compared to previous candle, okay, and we didn't create a high high, so I thought we have been, we might have been weakened, but it seems that they tried to break this. Uh, Let's just draw the trend line. Okay, so this is the trend line. It's not a very nice trend line. It's It has this lower low, but it doesn't look very solid, but still. Okay, this is a 50. I might go with 200 on the next one. I have to see what's, what will happen. gonna be a little risky okay it's closing exactly on the trend line and this is the one two this is the third touch I would like to go with the sellers here because I already saw the weakness from the buyers but I wouldn't be surprised to just lose this one as well because we are going against this crazy momentum it's not a very strong momentum but still that's a momentum you, you don't see any red candle here this is the if this is a red candle it's literally the first one okay so always consider that as well if you have a momentum like this and another momentum like this with retracement as a as a red one okay when you are closing on a level it doesn't matter if that's a trend line or a horizontal level which one has higher probability to give you the trade this one because you already see a couple of red candles but in this one which looks like this one you don't see a lot of red candles you don't see any red candles okay we want this trade mainly because we combined reasons you already know i love to combine reasons and this supply area has been combined with this third touch one two three third touch trend line and you know that you, in order to draw the trend line you need a b c okay if this wasn't creating a lower low it wouldn't be a good trend line all right okay now we have this support down here the support let's see okay let me see the 
this is the forced touch breakout for so i cannot really trust this as a breakout trade if i wanted to take this trade right here that would have been a only a common point of rejection but we, we don't have other reasons so that's why we should ignore the trades that that they don't have enough reasons okay let me just draw this oh if we actually were drawn yeah that would have been a, i think that would have been a losing trade if i was entering right here but anyways we have we need multiple reasons to take a trade we don't rely on one reason okay we have a cr oh shit. damn look at this this is a base first of all we have a qm right here okay i will look for this one as well so let's analyze this chart together okay this is a qm zone this is a qm zone and also we have another qm zone here as well look so we have two qm zone here one this one another one this one okay these areas if you haven't watched the qm video yet make sure you watch it because that's one of the best setups to trade okay this one has the confirmation but this one i don't see any confirmation for that one okay we have that in five minutes okay the confirmation so here you know what the best trade would be you, you see this doji so this candles breaking this doji okay so this is a doji break trade combined with the qm also the similarity look at this previous time we have a gap down and drop and now again we have a gap down and drop exactly like the previous time okay we might have other reasons too for example it's not like if it was closing exactly in the seller's area this would be a crazy trade like tons of reasons maybe uh you know red green pattern also viable here to to add you know to the reasons that was just crazy okay okay based on the red green pattern i can take a buy but i am not sure here so if i'm not sure i'll go with 50 here okay because we are breaking this overlap we are coming back to the doji this is the doji okay we're coming back to the doji i'm gonna draw this okay i would go with 50 right here exactly on this overlapping level okay we're either gonna just lose this trade it's 50 and uh, we're gonna make it up make it up at the next trade or we're just gonna win this trade and the reason behind this trade is we are coming back to the doji and then we have this pattern it's not a solid pattern because of these crazy gaps but this is also red green pattern okay to take this trade also it's inside of this overlap but we can just drop because sometimes we break the base after breaking that base we can have the next two candles here as well because this candle somehow this one and also we can have two candles and then go up but fortunately we won this trade because we just had a lot of reasons in our favor and this is an overlapping level Oh, we have we also have this gap down we have just too many reasons to take this trade okay oh we also have oh we, we have this trade takeable look this trade was takeable and then we are in this red green pattern let me see oh we have abc we have a trend line we have red green pattern exactly you know this can starting from here so that's also supporting this trade as a buy but we're, unfortunately we didn't take that so yeah i'm just gonna stop right here um thank you for watching everybody if you enjoyed please drop a like for me and uh if you're willing to join to the mentorship you can text me to the id in the description it's 16 december now they're probably going to take students until 20 december so yeah thank you for watching and peace out